Tesla's 4680 battery cells, which have been criticized very heavily by some so-called experts and also by an expert, the CEO of CATL, right? The world's biggest battery company. He said the 4680 battery cell was doomed to failure. Well, BMW doesn't agree. BMW has actually begun using them while it's about to start using them in their new EV. This new EV has 500 miles of range or 800 kilometers. And that's largely thanks to utilizing basically the same type of battery cell that Tesla has inspired. Tesla's revolutionary 4680 cylindrical battery cells, which are 46 millimeters by 80 millimeters, that's 1.8 inches by 3.15, they have boosted energy density by 20%, delivering between 272 to 296 watt hours per kilogram. That's a pretty big increase over previous generations, like 2170 batteries. Their tabless design, higher nickel and silicon chemistry, and improved thermal management extends battery life by around 16% and significantly reduces costs per kilowatt hour. This tech revolution is really what inspired BMW and numerous battery manufacturers to actually begin building 4680 cylindrical cells. Let's look at BMW's new iX3 that utilizes these battery cells. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I should point out the battery cells in these BMW cars, they're not actually Tesla 4680 cylindrical cells, but they are essentially the same thing. They are cylindrical cells, pretty much almost identically the same size as Tesla cylindrical cells. And BMW say that these batteries are what enable 500 miles of range in their new iX3. The iX3 is going to begin production in the first quarter of 2026. So we're looking at probably maybe nine months from today. It's going to have a range of 800 kilometers. That's 497 miles. And that's nearly double the current model's 460 kilometers or 286 miles. That's, I mean, I can't emphasize just how much of a difference that is. You're going from 286 miles to 497. Charging speed as well has massively improved. Charging speed is now 400 kilowatt DC, adding 350 kilometers of range or 217 miles takes 10 minutes. Part of the reason for that is the cylindrical cells. Um, yeah, you, you don't necessarily have to have cylindrical cells to have a fast charging EV, but it definitely helps, helps to dissipate heat. And they're a big improvement over 2170 batteries. The battery cells provide apparently, according to BMW, 20% higher energy density than previous prismatic battery cells. So BMW has actually released more details about the next generation iX3, which is the first of BMW's new class EVs that were revealed at the 2025 Munich Auto Show. There's gonna be a, a range of different electric cars BMW gonna release next year in 2026 that are gonna be using these cylindrical batteries. The 2026 BMW iX3 is, I think, a rival, to be fair, for, say, a Polestar 4, Tesla Model Y, Mercedes-Benz GLC with the EQ, bat, you know, basically Mercedes-Benz EVs that are GLC size, Audi Q6 e-tron, potentially the Zika 7X, although the Zika 7X is a bit bigger. But anyway, there's quite a few rivals in this space. The new architecture from BMW is Gen a Gen 6 EV powertrain, and... It's, going to, it's promising 500 miles of range, nearly double the current model. The current iX3 can add only 100 kilometers or 62 miles of range after 10 minutes of charging. So you can see that the charging speed is completely different. I mean, you're going from 62 miles of charging added to 217. Charging is nearly four times faster. I mean, it's three and a half times faster than the existing BMW iX3. Now, if you're watching this video, guys, don't buy the BMW iX3 yet. I mean, this new one, should you buy one? I mean, I would cons I'd say it's going to be amazing. So yeah, absolutely. The existing model though, I mean, is, as you can see, it's just nowhere near as good as this new model. So BMW are not doing front wheel drive, which I think is a good thing. This new platform, EV platform, it's the new class-based platform. It's only rear wheel drive and dual motor all wheel drive. What are the outputs from this new platform? The dual motor version has 300 kilowatt, that is 402 horsepower, 
and 600 newton meters of torque. Uh, that's 443 pound feet. That compares to the current model that has 210 kilowatt, that's 282 horsepower, and 400 newton meters, 295 pound feet from its single rear electric motor. So the new version, the all-wheel drive version, won't have as much range. It won't have the full 500 miles, but it's going to have a lot of power. BMW says the iX3 runs four super brains to separately run the various elements of the vehicle. That's a bit um, interesting. Why would they need to do that? But yeah, anyway, that's how it works. And what it does is it runs the powertrain to advanced driver assist systems managed by a central super brain dubbed the Heart of Joy. The Heart of Joy. Okay. Artificial intelligence-based software will also be a feature for the driver assist systems while also working with the BMW Dynamic Performance Control software to control the powertrain, the braking, energy recuperation, and even the steering systems as well. BMW says this new system is 10 times faster than those in existing showroom models. So basically the computer system is miles ahead of all the BMW's existing cars. Pre-production iX3s revealed the BMW Panoramic iDrive system with panoramic vision running along the bottom of the windscreen in place of a traditional instrument binnacle. So basically, it's sort of like a heads-up display, right? That's showing on your windscreen at the base of the windscreen. Driver instruments are also shown via a heads-up display while the cleaner dashboard has a backlit physical center touchscreen. The iX3's steering wheel uses haptic controls, meaning they can sense a close proximity finger and do not need actual contact, designed to allow drivers to keep their eyes on the road. Haptic control uh, buttons, they've been a total disaster in Volkswagen cars. Companies at Volkswagen has basically said, oh yeah, we're not doing those anymore, but you do, they kind of still have them, but there's a bit of a click button to them. I'm not sure that's a good idea, the haptic touch feature. We'll see, we'll wait and see when it comes out. There's also a flatter floor, which is part of the dedicated electric car construction. So, I mean, basically BMW is saying, yeah, okay, previous models, it wasn't a dedicated EV. So now we've got a dedicated EV and it's a, a much better amount of interior space, put it that way. Cargo volume, I haven't said what it is, but it's gonna be better than the existing BMW iX3 that has 510 liters of storage space. That's 18 cubic feet. It does expand to 1,560 liters, which is 55 cubic feet. But yeah, the new version should be around 57 cubic feet, probably around 1,700 liters on internal space. And the boot space should be closer to 570 liters. After the first production prototypes were completed last November, BMW Group CEO Oliver Zips said in March, the iX3 would be the first new class BMW, one of 40 new or updated models for the BMW Group. That does include Mini and Rolls-Royce though. So BMW is saying that um, this, the, all these 40 models, these 40 new models or updated models are gonna be out within the next one and a half years, or maybe two years. So two, two years, 40 different models. That seems like a, a massive, massive investment. Here's what he said. What is still hidden under camouflage foil, here will be unveiled at the IAA Mobility in Munich in early September. But we can assure you this car is going to be amazing, blah, 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 blah. So getting back to the, the what I find interesting is the battery cells. I think that's the most interesting part of this car by far. And there is a race for 4680 battery market leadership. People are saying, analysts are saying, that the size of the 4680 battery cell market, I'm not talking 4680 exactly, but there's some variations. There's 4690, there's 4682. Anyhow, the size of that large cylindrical battery cell market will quadruple over the next four years. It's gonna, it's gonna take off. There is numerous manufacturers working on 4680 batteries. There is Goshan High Tech in China. The Volkswagen Group owns, I believe, about 30% of Goshan High Tech. There is LG Chem or LG Energy Solutions. They're working on them as well. They're actually selling them to now. Samsung SDI, same thing. AEST, which is BMW's battery supply company, they make 4680 cylindrical cells, and they're the ones that go into the, going into this car, in fact. I believe there's actually seven different car manufacturers now, either making already today or planning it within the next 12 months to be producing en masse 4680 battery cells. That doesn't even include Tesla themselves. So you can see that there is some pretty big advantages of these new batteries. It's not just range, pretty big boost in range here. It's also efficiency. It's also 
lifetime. They're basically saying you can get a longer battery life from these larger cylindrical cells. And it's also charging speed. Clearly, they're able to put out more power or in, or basically suck in more power. Uh, and that means this car can charge much faster, I mean, more than three times the charging speed. I think if you look at BMW's new EVs that are going to be coming up the next few years, you'd have to be crazy to buy an internal combustion version of a BMW car. When all of BMW's models are using these batteries and they're losing, using this kind of you know fast charging, 400 plus kilowatt for charging, and they're all they've all got you know plus 500 miles of range. There's just a no-brainer as to why you'd want to buy even a hybrid or an internal combustion BMW. I'm pretty impressed by this. Well done to BMW. I'm looking forward to seeing these cars on the market. Let me know what you think in the comments.